Hey, Rad Reelers, what's going on? I'm tying pompano teasers. It's like six o'clock in the morning. And uh, if you never saw that video of mine where I showed how I, I tie pompano teasers with electric drill, uh, I'll put a link here, but my neighbors are gonna think I'm making smoothies this morning at six o'clock. All right, I know they look pretty wild, don't they? But all I gotta do now is just trim them up a little bit. Check it out, there you go. Ta-da, tied it with an electric drill. I made a couple of, a couple of chart, chartreuse. I made a couple of yellow, I like the yellow ones too. Four pompano teasers tied with an electric drill. Hey Rad Reelers, JC with Rad Reeling Fishing. This is Chris from Fixin' to fail, <laughs> and I think he spells it F I X apost I N. Yep, no I, G. I, I N apostrophe. Yep, fail. Fixin' to fail. Anyway, I'll link his channel down below. We're gonna see if we can get on some pompano, you guys. But uh, anyway, we're gonna have a good time. But make sure you check out his channel because he is rocking it with the big. He's a trophy fish chaser, man, and he's a lot of fun to watch. So <laughs> I try. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, here we go. Oh, it is! Finally! A little snook. Nice. Thank goodness. I was going to go home crying, man. He <laughs> <laughs> ain't even big, but you know what? He's the prettiest fish I've seen all day. Nice. <laughs> he got himself a nice trim. Oh, thank you. Awesome. That's it guys, right there. That's what you're gonna get, fixing the fail channel. <laughs> oh, oh, he's got somebody else's circle hook in his mouth. Oh no. Get that out for you, bud. There you go. Oh, is that better? Nice. That's got like that dental floss, man. You just got a dental floss. Nice. All right. <laughs> All right, man. So, while I got you on camera, what is the secret? What's the secret? <laughs> Cut your hair into a mullet. There we go. Cut your hair into a mullet. Curse way too much. That's it? That's it. That's cool, it man. Yeah. Awesome. Be willing to lose hooks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you check out Fixing to Fail. I don't understand it, guys. All of this from like that house right there all of this used to be mangroves and there were paths where you could walk through the mangroves it was absolutely beautiful i mean just flipping gorgeous here's the ridiculous thing you know what let me just rant for a little bit okay here's the ridiculous thing about this <laughs> as far as for the public right this is a public access beach but there's only like 10 spark parking spaces so all the way down there where those buildings start is where I came in. So all of this area, I mean an entire half of a mile down here and all the way around the corner, another half a mile is all public beach, but there's only 10 parking places that you can access it. So why do they tear out the trees? It's not like they needed more area for people to sunbathe. Who makes these decisions? Oh my God. It was gorgeous to come out here and fish. Just absolutely beautiful to walk through all those mangrove paths and tunnels. Uh, these rocks are brand new. They're not slippery at all. They don't have any slime or anything on them. That's nice. So I'm gonna rig this up with a green with a pink teaser. The way I do that is with a canoe man loop knot. Just go ahead and put them both through the loop. All right, that's the magic. Let's give it a try. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had one. Dang it. That was a good fish. All of a sudden I had a lot of slack in my line. I'm like, what in the world? All right, maybe this is a spot right here. That was a pump, guys. That was definitely a pump. All of a sudden I had tons of slack in my line. 
I'm glad they didn't remove this. This is like God's artwork right here. Look at this. Beautiful. Wow. You fish and fish and fish and fish. And then you mess it up. Dang it, JC. Not good, bro. There he is. There we go. Oh, that's a good fish. That is a good fish right there. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Oh, ladyfish. Big ladyfish. Oh, man. I thought I'd found me a pompano hole. That's all right. We'll take a big fat lady. At least we're catching something, right? At least we're catching something. That's not what we're after, but that's what we got. We'll take it. Thanks, girl. See ya. Yeah, nice. I don't have any shrimp for you. No shrimp. No shrimp. I got no shrimp for you. Look at him. He's been fed before. He's literally, he's four feet away from me. I could almost touch him. He's coming right up to the camera. Guys, he's a foot and a half away from the camera. Woo! Well, guys, I tell you what, Pompano, definitely the fish of 50,000 casts for me. This is the fifth time that I've been Pompano fishing. I Pompano fished at the jetties one day, and then I Pompano fished two days with Bush, and then today, this is my, my fourth day of Pompano fishing. And I've only caught one little dinky pompano. Crazy thing is, a subscriber just sent me a picture. This is not the problem, by the way. A subscriber just sent me a picture of a bunch of pompano that they caught. They said a school of pompano came through and they limited out in 30 minutes. Like, come on, here I am running all over the place just hoping a school of pompano comes through and they go through where I'm not at, right? <laughs> Crazy. All right, guys, I took a short break. I'm up here on the bridge now. The tide just turned around. It's just barely starting to move. So it's perfect conditions for catching pompano. I mean, perfect. It's been east wind. That means the water's nice and clear. The wind's blowing a little bit and we're right on the turn of the tide. So if I can't catch them up here, I'm just having a tough time with pompano fishing these days. Oh, there's a hit. Here we go. Fish on. Oh, guys, that's a good one. It's a good one. Good fish. He hit it back under the bridge. Nice. Good fish, man. No, no, don't get me in those pilings. Oh, guys, it's a big flounder. Big flounder. Wow. Wow. Look at the size of that flounder. Woohoo! Man, that's a tank. That's a beast. Fish rolls, guys. You got to download fish rolls. This is the best. You can just scroll right through HI flounder right here. It'll pull it up to the location. Oh, look, the season's open. 14 inches. Easy 14 inches. We're going to keep this guy. Easy 14 inches, guaranteed. I called it. I said 15. He's 14 and a half. Nice. This video is all over the place, but I plan it that way, guys. Check this out. I got a new rod holder. I put a link in the description area. If you guys had seen before, I just had my rods all piled up over here and they were scratching up the wall. So I finally got organized. And you guys, coming real soon. Oh, baby. This right here, this is the new Pen Pursuit 4, and it is looking awesome. Yeah, I'm going to give you all the details on that. But wait, there's more. All right, so what I got here, these are lure covers. Whenever I go kayak fishing, I usually rig up about four rods and take them with me. And I've got treble hooks all over them, right? Top water lures and stuff. So you just take this and wrap it around. Whoop. Take this, wrap it around the lure like that. It's got Velcro holders on it. So I'll put a link in the description area to Amazon. These are reasonably priced. I get so tired of my lures getting all tangled up together when I'm throwing them in my car and stuff. So you can see there what that does. It just protects the hooks from getting all tangled up in the line. <laughs> That's crazy. I've been jigging all morning. Like the second cast, bam, got me a flounder. Woohoo! All right, let's do it again. 
I don't know, maybe this guy's trying to take my line out or something. <laughs> you good? You're good, man. Fish on. We are hooked up, baby. What do we got? You gotta be kidding. This jig catches everything. We got the puffer puffer. He's putting on a show. Nice. Big old fat dude. Look at that guy. It's probably where man thought about creating a balloon. He caught a big puffer fish. All right, buddy, it's a long way down there. Sorry for the drop. See ya. Oh, he's letting his air out. There he goes. <laughs> All right. Got him on the silly jig with the teaser right there. Fish on. Fish on. We are hooked up again. Look at that. Oh, we had a lizard fish. See ya. I'm going to show you how I work this jig and teaser rig right here. The current right now is coming to me. I like to cast across at an angle. Right here, I know there's a piling because I got double pilings right here. So in between here and the next piling, I like to cast out at an angle. The current's coming this way. You'll see it. It'll just go thunk and it'll go slack. When it does that, you know it hit bottom. It's deep here. Okay, it just went slack. It just hit bottom. So once I know that it hit bottom, I'm just gonna twitch it and I'm gonna watch my line. It's gonna hit bottom again. There it is, I twitch it again. I'm gonna watch my line, it hits bottom. I twitch it again. Watch my line, it hits bottom. Twitch it again. Watch my line, it hits bottom. So basically with this jig, you're just bouncing it on the bottom, just gently on the bottom. You change up the size jig depending on the amount of current that you're fishing in. Right now the tide just turned around and I've got a 3 8 ounce jig on there. So if it starts ripping through here really good, I'll even either put on a half, a three quarter, or a one ounce jig, depending how strong the current is. But for right now, a three eighths ounce jig is doing fine. I just got hung up again, another jig gone. I need, I need 5,000 likes and 50,000 views just to recover the amount of money I've lost today. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> I just lost another jig. It's like number five today that I've lost. Dang it, man. Ugh. There's structure all along this bridge. No pompano. I've been up here for a long time. Woo! Having a good time, though. It has been such a gorgeous day, you guys. I started this morning, you know, at sunrise. It's like 4.30. I'm out at a different beach now. Got a subscriber that painted me that snook on that piece of wood. It actually looked like it was a top off of an old keg barrel or something. Beautiful snook. Anyway, his name's Jonah, and he's out here. He's in town. He let me know he's in town, and uh, he said he was going to be out here today. So I'm coming out here to meet up with him and say hey and uh, give him a personal thank you for that snook painting that he gave me. So guys, I told you I was gonna hook up with Jonah. This is Jonah right here. What's up guys? He is the artist. And uh, what is your YouTube fishing channel? It is JTH Outdoors. All right, and then what about um, Instagram? It's, um, I have two Instagram accounts. I have my fishing account, and my art account. My fishing one is JTH Outdoors, and then my art one is JTH Arts. There you go. All right, cool. Make sure you go check those out, guys. I'll make sure I link them in the description area. He's doing some beautiful artwork, and uh, he shared with me that he'd like to make a career out of it somehow. So if any of you guys are watching, maybe you can help him out with that. So. I appreciate it. <laughs> cool. But anyway, they're getting him and his dad are getting ready to get on some fish. It's your dad, right? Yeah. Yeah, Todd? Yeah, Todd. Todd, yeah. Him and his dad are getting ready to get on some fish here. So I just wanted to come out and meet up with him. So, all right, guys whatever <laughs> <laughs>
Jesus. There we go. That's a pump. That's a pompano. Fish on. I found them. I found where they're hanging. Oh, that's a fatty too, man. That's a good one. That is a good one. There we go, baby. Yeah, pompano. Half inch too short. Nice, so. All right, little guy. Thanks for the catch, buddy. See you. Hey guys, I'm fishing with Bush again today. Hey, what's going on guys? Hanging out with a man. He invited me to come down here and see if we can get on some pompano. We had fun yesterday catching sheep's head and it's just beautiful out here. We're trying the beach today, guys. It's beautiful in this area. So we hope to, uh, to find some uh, good school of pompano today. Yeah, jigging them up. So you already had one, right? I did, I already caught a little one. I'll put a link in the description area. Make sure you check out his channel because He's got awesome fishing action happening there. You guys will enjoy it for sure. So let's do, let's it. do it. That's the combo I caught that pompano on right there. There he is. Fish on. Uh, it's not a pompano. A got off. I'm, I'm mimicking bush over here. Every time he jigs, I jig. Gotta watch his technique. Big fat pompano. Time check, guys, is about 9.30 right now. I got down here a little bit after 7. Bush got here about 7.30, I think. We got two pompano and a bluefish. Having a good time. Not getting a lot of hits right now, but it is a gorgeous southwest floor today. I mean, check this out. It's like 70 degrees out here. It is nice and calm. Yeah. This is, this is good conditions for pompano. I just hope they come through. We just keep throwing these jigs. Keep throwing these jigs until the school comes through and then maybe we'll get on them. We'll see what happens. We ain't giving up. We got nothing but time. We're living in Florida. It's time to take the shoes off. Fish on. Oh, a mackerel! He took my jig! Oh, come on. Little Spanish. Darn it. I lost a jig and a teaser. These things are expensive. Expensive to lose. Try a little different color, I guess. Alright, we'll rig these two guys up right here. Yeah, that's black drum. I saw the stripes. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's foul hooked, that's why he's fighting so hard. All right, nice, nice, nice. Go get big and ugly, guy. All right. So guys, a long time in between bites. That black drum was just a little bit short. You wanna make sure you download the Fish Rules app from the Florida Wildlife Commission website. Yeah, they have to be 14 inches, and I think it said the bag limit is five on those. So that guy was just a little bit short. And it's been a long time since I've had a hookup. We've been out here pounding this spot, and uh, the water's pretty cloudy today, so maybe that's what it is. And we had a cold front that moved in here like, what, two weeks ago? It stayed pretty cold, and it's been windy. But anyway, we're going to, uh, we caught two pompano early. We're going to stick with it for a few more hours, see what happens. That's a nice one, right, JC? What do you think? Woo! I changed on DOA because wow. I see the bait busting. Nice. Those are the results, guys. What do you think this guy is? It's smaller than the first one, but yeah. what do you think this is? Oh, he's, he's 18. 18, 19, right? 19, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we've been out here pounding these jigs for a long time. We had a good time. We caught a few fish. Bush did really good today. Keeper Pompano, a couple of big old trout, a nice bluefish. And he was switching it up with DOA. Uh, shrimp and jigging so he did really good had a great time yeah his, she was good yeah his channel will be linked down below make sure you check it out fish on and uh yeah like i said you're gonna love watching bush he, he does a great job out here for sure appreciate so you guys yeah thanks for watching thumbs up appreciate it get out there and go fishing man life is fun live it see ya yeah.